Rankin. Show him. Tell your friends. Why I started DBC was to show the authorities that, that there was a need for a black station in London, i.e. England. And the image was meant to shock uh, the real name for DBC at first was Rebel Radio. And then one of our DJs that came along later, a guy called Mike the Bike, said why not call it DBC to take the piss out of the BBC. On musical dedication. Uh, I think different people saw us in different ways, like the, the reggae crew or the crowd. Sources, yeah, this is a, a reggae station. You had certain white people in uh, West London, North West, who thought it was a trendy thing to tune into DBC at the time. And we used to sell T-shirts and badges, and they'd all be seen wearing one. If you if you didn't have a DBC T-shirt, you weren't nobody at the time. <laughs> it was all reggae at first, and then we realised, yes, a black station's got to cater for for more than just reggae. So the first other music we started playing was soca music. And we had an immediate backlash from uh, a lot of the black kids at the time. They just couldn't take it. But then they accepted it, you know? And then we broadened onto African music and then rhythm and blues music and jazz music until we were covering nearly all, all aspects of black music. We wanted to see stations like DBC in places like Bristol, Birmingham, Manchester, all over the country and in London. And I've always maintained that the more black stations, pirates there are, the, the, the quicker the government are going to give us a license or somebody a license. So, yeah, I'd like that. A murder we charge for.